Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode here on the Life Signatures Radio. If you are alive today, you've got to be grateful that you are alive, that you've got, been given life and opportunity to be alive, and that means that you are still needed. Just want to throw that out there. You are still needed on the face of the earth. I don't know what it is that you're going through. Probably you have a heavy heart because of one thing or another. It shall pass. And I know I'm not going to downplay the feelings that you're having. But it, it, it shall pass. Don't worry about that. One day you look back and you might not even remember what happened. Anyway. This, this podcast is a daily show on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. We wake up every single day and we look forward to doing this. And God has given us the grace and the uh, fortitude to be able to keep doing this. And I'm grateful. We are talking in the recent past, over two episodes now, we've been talking about reputation, why we need to care, reasons why we should care about our reputation. I have not started talking about those reasons yet but we are still building we are still talking about how important a reputation is we all have a reputation and uh, the reputation we saw yesterday comes as a result it is a result a reputation a reputation isn't something that just comes out of the blue it is a result of our doing things today let us continue deliberating on that subject matter stay tuned please <music> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Even though reputation is something that we cannot escape from, we said in the first episode that you cannot start doing things specifically or intentionally because you are caring about your reputation. Reputation is a result. It's a byproduct. It's, it's, uh, at the end of the day, you might not have full control over it. Therefore, I think it will be foolhardy for us to be teethered or to be shackled in a way of living that we have to do things because of our reputation. No, we have to do things because they matter. We have to do things because we care about those things. We've got to do things because we're passionate about those things. We've got to do things because we want to impact, we want to contribute. Therefore, after that, the reputation will care about itself. And if we don't do these things and so on, again, our reputation, is our reputation is going to be impacted one way or another. I have reason to believe that if you're deploying your fullest potential, and that's what this podcast is always going to talk about, potential, excavating into the dregs of the details. There are possibilities that God has put inside of our lives. We are being selfless if we are doing that. If we are doing that which we were meant to do, at some level, I do believe we are being selfless. Why? Because I do believe that we were created to matter for other people. Selfishness is all about our own comfort and our own self-centeredness. And if I live a life of selfishness and a life of self-centeredness, believe me, I am going to have a reputation, a negative reputation. But if I live a life of selflessness, if I live a life of purpose, purpose is selfless inherently, I'm going to also have a reputation. 
So what am I saying here? What I'm saying here is that don't do life directly so that you can care about your reputation. But do life on purpose and the reputation will take care of itself. That's basically the nuts and the bolts of the whole thing. Selfishness is all about comfort and self-centeredness. When you find someone paying the price of discomfort in order to explore and refine their gift and their talent, they are chiseling themselves for meeting themselves, in, uh, I mean capacitating themselves so that they can become selfless. Why? Because for the most part, a gift or a talent, it is not for themselves. It is not for their own consumption. It is for the service of others. For the most part, a gift or a talent in its full maturity is never primarily for the benefit of the person who is gifted. If you are a good speaker, it is not your gift. It is not for your own benefit. If you are a good person who can inspire and motivate, it is not for your benefit. That gift is not for you to excavate for your own selfish gain. It is for the contribution to society. That is primarily why we have gifts and why we have talents. And if we can focus on exploiting these gifts and these talents and excavating them and deploying them and serving others, like losing ourselves, like Gandhi said, losing ourselves in the service of others. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, he said. If we can do that, then we don't even need to worry and care about our reputations. Of course, the gifted will suffer its fruits, but not before he has been a blessing to the masses or just to one person with this particular gift that they have been given. That is where reputation comes from. Remember we said in the previous episode, reputation is what? It is a result. It is a byproduct. It's a side effect. It's a culmination. You've got to expand something and then reputation comes out. If the, if the world demands of you something, and by the way, that's how we, we are in this world. We normally think the other way. We normally think that I am demanding of this world. I want my house from this world. I want my money from this world. Right? I want my comfort from this world. I want adventure from this world. It is the other way around. We are here because the world demands of us. The world demands of our gifts. The world demands of our talents, our abilities, our potential, our passion and our purpose. The world demands of our effort, our work ethic. The world demands of our hard work. The world demands of our immersion into sweat, blood and tears. The world demands of our service, our contribution, our impact. The world demands of our, of our positive influence. If we can show up the way the world demands of us, we don't even need to worry about our reputation at the end of the day. But if we don't, it's like that fig tree that Jesus Christ cast. A fig tree is supposed to give figs, but he goes to the fig tree and he doesn't have any. You're going to have a bad reputation. Actually, by the way, in your own eyes, in your own existence, you don't feel good about yourself if you're not doing that which you're supposed to be doing, that which you're called to do. I believe that you and I need to be absolutely careful about our reputation. Even though I say that you're not going to do this primarily, you're not going to do things primarily because of your reputation, but I do believe that you've got to be careful about it, especially after we have started having one especially after people are speaking about us one way or another. We say that reputation is what sneaks up on you while you are busy doing something greater than yourself. That's what it is. It sneaks up on you. It's a result. It's not something that you do and then you say, hey, I did it. You don't give yourself a reputation. You don't impute upon yourself a reputation. It is imputed upon you by other people. That's why I have said it is something that sneaks up on you while you're busy doing something greater than yourself, while you're being selfless. That's what reputation is all about. In other words, 
you do not go out there out and out to get a reputation all you did was to pursue what mattered to you what you care about what 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 is what is the heaviness of your heart the things that you want to see corrected the things that you want to see changed the things that you want to see created the things that you want to see made right the things that you want to see done in the right way that becomes the things that you're doing and that becomes the the seeds for your reputation all you did was to pursue what mattered to you reputation became the side effect of the same a big mistake that we make is to not care about our reputation once it has started once it has, it has created our uh, our pursuits of purpose once it has been brought out once it's become congo tangible one of the biggest mistakes we can be able to do is to not to care about it and i want to start looking around and just giving us pointers from the episode tomorrow you know we think that reputation will care for itself no it's it's not going to care for itself it is not going to fully care for itself we've got to marshal it at some point in time especially when you've done that which matters to you and then people's opinions people's perceptions become positive about you so we ought to be deliberate about it especially in this day and in this age starting tomorrow i want to start discussing why you and i should be particularly interested in taking care of our reputations it's going to be a roller coaster of a ride and we might take a bit of time in talking about this i have seven reasons why i think we should care about our reputations and i'm going to start talking about them in the episode tomorrow even as we look at, around and see what we can be able to learn from this it's going to be a roller coaster but stay tuned bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring